This just in, all-star Ben Simmons will not report for the opening of training camp next week and intends to never play another game for the franchise, sources tell Adrian Wojnarowski. Simmons hasn't spoken to the team since a late August meeting when he communicated this message to the Sixers. Now let's bring in our NBA senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Good to see you, Woj, who broke this news, of course. Next. He's a one-man industry. Why is Ben Simmons taking this stance now to never play for the Sixers again? Uh, Max, really unprecedented, especially a player with four years left on his deal. Uh, but Ben Simmons believes, I think his best way, his fastest way out of Philadelphia is to sit out and essentially, you know, put the Sixers season in peril. This is a team that was the number one seed in the East last year, has championship aspirations, ben, uh, Joel Embiid in his prime, and without Ben Simmons, uh, there's a gaping hole in that team. It's not a championship contender, and I think Ben Simmons believes he can hold out, perhaps without getting paid, without money, longer than the Sixers can hold out uh, with him not on the floor and essentially maybe costing them the season. This is really a game of chicken. He must really hate it in Philly because it's not like he's going to magically learn to shoot as soon as he leaves, and they're a very good team. Why? Well, let me ask you this. What teams have who can actually make a deal potentially could trade for Ben Simmons? You know, they have enough interest to do it. Philadelphia's talked to, you know, teams throughout the league, and, and some have been more serious in their offers than others. None for Philadelphia – Serious enough, but teams like Minnesota, Cleveland, San Antonio, Portland, and a number of others. And I think what Ben Simmons is hoping is that perhaps you know, one of those teams gets off to a more difficult start and they start to up their offer and they offer more. And listen, plenty of these trade scenarios, Max, are three team scenarios, four team scenarios. Maybe, for example, Minnesota doesn't have the exact package but they can use their assets to go get other players that would appeal to Philly. It is really difficult to trade a, star, a player of Ben Simmons' magnitude when you're a contender and you're trying to get back a return that keeps you a championship contender. Typically when players of his stature are getting traded, they're in teams that are headed into rebuilds and they want picks and young players. Philadelphia wants back established star players. That makes this more complicated. I, you know, he's a distressed asset now, so he's going to be – they'll get less than he's actually worth. And you think about Ben Simmons, he does everything at historically great levels except shoot. You know, including play defense. Shooting is the fun part, Ben. Come on, practice the shot. I'm looking at the Spurs. I have my eye on the Spurs, Woj. Training camp starts a week from today. Aside from not getting paid, what fines could Simmons incur if he doesn't show up? Well – there are a lot of levers in the NBA for a player. You know, the ultimate being failure to uh, render services, and that essentially could cost him his salary. He makes $33 million this year. He's owed 147 over four years. Philadelphia has its own uh, team rules that they can start finding Ben Simmons next week. For example, failure to attend media day, failure to attend the first practice, second practice. Those fines are more nominal. There's an October 1st date when the next installment of Ben Simmons' uh, contract is due, and that will be an interesting uh, – uh, it will be interesting to watch what Philadelphia does there. If they're really willing to play hardball and not pay him, but if he doesn't show up at all, you know, listen, the league and their collective bargaining agreement, you know, they have it certainly within their rights to withhold salary, and so you've got a Sixer organization going, how long will Ben Simmons go without getting paid? He's telling them, I will go the distance. I will sit out the season um, if I don't get a trade. And so this is going to be fascinating to watch as we get closer to camp and preseason and the start of the season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.